So I got a question from one of my uh, subscribers. He was saying, I'm um, just curious how many push-ups and pull-ups can I do? And then later on he wanted to ask, uh, if, if I would train like a sprinter, um, would it help with my fitness? And my answer to that is, it depends on what kind of fitness you want. Um, if you want to be able to sprint repeated times, and if you think that will help you, he, he's in the army, um, if you think that will help you more than, say, the long distance stuff, then do sprinting. But if it's not going to help you as much, <clears throat> then uh, stick to the long distance stuff. Now, I'm guessing in the army, you want a, a mixture of both. The, the only issue I have with sprinting is it's extremely harsh on the body. So, um, people who aren't seasoned runners, who aren't s seasoned sprinters, uh, will tend to get a lot of injuries if they just go out um, as hard as they can and they do, you know, sprinting. Um, especially if they they haven't just come out of school, because you know in school, but you know, you know the years after you finish school, you do less and less running, and you get less and less used to it, and you can get injuries from uh, just sprinting. So, for instance, um, when I started, I I went out very slow. I you know did sixty percent stuff. Even that was too too much for me. I ended up getting a hamstring injury. And also, about two months later, I got a hamstring injury again at the track. Um, and then since joining a proper club for sprinting, where um, I built up with drills and even slower sprints and um, a mixture of training methods, um, I haven't had an injury since. Um, I did have a foot injury, but that was actually due to the spikes. I changed over spikes too quickly. Um, and they weren't the right fit for me. The point is you want to do uh, exercises that will help you in your day-to-day -day life, day -day life or in your job or for the sport that you want to play or for the physique you want. So yeah, sure, I agree. Sprinting will definitely get you fit. It'll get you ripped. Um, this is a uh, photo of my sprinting group. hope they don't mind, but I'm putting it up there anyway. I think it's on Instagram. Um, you know, they're all lean, um, they're all big, they're all ripped. Uh, it's because it's the way they train. I mean, we're in the gym two to three times a week. We do sprinting two to three times a week. And then you've got pool sessions in between. Um, you've got circuit training. You've got um, lots of plyometric work. Just different training methods, different um, stimulus for the body. But it's mainly explosive and strength. So you're going to get the physique that follows that. Um, if you're looking for the more long distance, um, you know, in the army, you're going to have to uh, run a lot of kilometers. Uh, so you're also going to have to have a lot of fitness. We also do um, 1500 meter time trials and 2000 meter time trials. Now you might be doing a lot more than that because you might need to. Um, but just for us, we do that for aerobic power. So basically the ability to recover in between high intensity sets during the season um, is determined basically by our fitness earlier on in the season uh, you know the aerobic stuff that we do the 2k's and the 1.5k's the 800 meter time trials helps us build the fitness in between intervals uh, during the recovery so that you can go harder every time you go to sprint so yeah, that's my short answer. Um, what else did you ask me? You asked me about um, my two mile is 13, 18. I don't know two miles. I, I, I literally do not do um, time trials that are that long. Uh, so I wouldn't know if that's a good time. And also, of course, diet plays into it. A lot of the guys at sprinting, you know, they have a relatively healthy diet. So that's also going to play into it, but also the, the training certainly does get you ripped. Um, I, I got to say, uh, apart from swimming when I was younger, uh, the one thing that has allowed me to gain muscle and lose fat at the same time is definitely sprinting. Uh, I started off 86 kilos at the start of the year, I'm now about 84, 83, and I'm stronger than I was at the start of the year. So that's a testament to putting on muscle and losing fat. I've definitely lost fat because I've got veins in my legs now, I've got um, you know, veins in my abs, um, you know, all that kind of stuff. I can, I can really see the difference. Um, it's pretty much night and day. You can even see it in my face. 
if you look at my um, older videos, you'll see that um, I was a bit chubby in the face. Uh, since sprinting, I've gotten a lot leaner. So, yeah, that's my answer. Carb up or get carbed and subscribe if you haven't already.